Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Thomas. I have been off of YouTube for six billion years. However, back up again with yet another video. I, real fast before we get into today's video, if you guys don't care about this, just skip to this part right here. It's girl gone. I have been off of YouTube for a minute and I do deeply apologize to you guys for just completely neglecting this platform. I know I've just been completely <sighs> low dogging you guys i'm so sorry but i'm back i am finally moved into my house today's video is actually going to be a moving vlog my coming back video which was like the reason why i've been gone so long was was because i moved from california to texas not for really any reason at all i just was over seeing the same old same old saving money there was just so many great opportunities in texas versus staying in la um, and also LA's in, on fire right now. So, and then there's earthquakes there. It's, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just completely decided to jump in a car and come all the way to Texas and start a new life here with my boyfriend. And that's what we're doing. So that is why I've been gone and I just needed a break as anyone does from their job. And I'm in the position to be able to take a break sometimes from my job, um, which I know I'm very lucky to have, which is why I've just been off. So surprise bitch, bet you thought you seen the last of me. I am back. And in today's video, we are reviewing Miss Tati Bu Bu, Miss Tati Beauty. I received this in PR about a few, a few days ago. This palette is actually already sold out, but it is available for pre-order if you guys are interested. Um, my good sis sold out of 100,000 units within the first day, which is absolutely insane. Congratulations, Tati. Hopefully, if you guys bought it and you guys have it, this video will get you excited for it. If not, this video will maybe guide you guys in the right direction, whether you wanna get it, whether you don't wanna get it. But yeah, we have the Textured Neutrals palette. This is volume one, so I'm assuming there's gonna be other volumes. So if you guys are interested in this review, stay watching. Yeah? If you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you. Please subscribe. I know that I have not proven to you guys that I am a worthy YouTuber, worthy of, of, of a subscription. Uh, but uh, why not subscribe, you know? I know so many of you watch my videos and still don't subscribe, so get to it, girl. Give this video a huge thumbs up. It'll help me out a lot. And comment down below, are you guys gonna get Tati's new palette? Are you going to support the new launch? Are you, did you get it? Are you excited for it? Did you already get it in the mail? How are you guys feeling about this? Sound off in the comment section down below. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's read this note that she gave me because like it was really cute and I enjoyed it. By the way, this PR package is sickening the house on Booth Mama for your nerves and I'm putting it on display in my makeup room. By the by, this whole background situation is going to be very short lived. I have a whole makeup room thing that I'm doing. So my background is going to be like a candle in the backgrounds with makeup displayed type of shit. It's going to be real freaking cute and I'm very excited for it. Um, so say goodbye to the backdrops. Thomas, you have the first card I'm writing, dot, dot, dot. I hope you love this, dot, dot, dot. I hope you keep changing all your dreams. Changing, chasing all your dreams. I hope I get to see you soon. XO's Tati. Uh, when I got this, I actually teared up because I do consider Tati a dear, 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 dear friend. I'm very proud of her. By the way, me being good friends with Miss Tati Westbrook, is not going to sway me, persuade me to change my, like, you know, it's not gonna like make me say I like it. You know, I'm very excited for it because it's a beautiful palette that screams my name. You guys know I love tones like this, but I love Tati. If the product sucks, the product sucks, and I will let you guys know always. I, no one can buy my opinion. So, and Tati knows that, and Tati respects that. So, who knows? Is this gonna flop or is this gonna pop? You know what I'm saying? We don't know. This is the packaging. It's a rubber texture to it, like a very suede. Filling all up on it. It's very suede y, you know? There are four different finishes in this palette. Oh, by the way, there's a huge ass mirror. Like the big old bitch up in this bitch. Like it's a big bitch up in here. The palette is very, very heavy too. You can tell that like there's, when you're paying the price for this, you feel like you, it, you got your money's worth. It doesn't feel like some Morphe crap. It doesn't feel like, you know, some drugstore crap. It feels like, damn, like, I believe this retails for $48 or $45. I'll have the correct price on the screen. Again, I got sent this in PR, so I don't know. So there are four different finishes. We have the glitters up top. Then we have the metallics right here. And then a finish that I don't see that often. So it's very interesting to me to see Tati put it in her palette. I'm kind of curious how they swatch and how they apply. They're called sequin finishes. 
And basically what that is, is it's like a matte shade or a shimmer. No, it's usually a matte base, but they throw glitter in there. So it has like the, I guess the blendability and the payoff of a matte shade, but they just threw some glitters up in that bitch. So a sequin finish, that's basically what it is. So we have like, we have like one, two, three, three sequin finishes. So actually, you know what? I think each row is the finish. So this is glitter, metallic, sequin, matte. Very nice, very nice. So I'm gonna do some ding dong swatches for you guys. Sorry, I'm so hopped up. I'm like literally caffeinated out the ass. So if I'm just saying the dumbest crap that makes no sense, if I sound like a dad right now, I deeply apologize. Um, please roast me accordingly. One thing I will note about the packaging is suede packaging always gets really dirty for me. So like found if you're if you have foundation fingers, like makeup fingers, we all get makeup fingers but it's gonna get everywhere. You know, it's gonna get all swiped up on there. It's gonna get very foundation-y very fast. It's just with any suede rubber-like texture, even the velvet ones. So I'm gonna do some swatches for you guys. I'm going to do each row on my arm. I'm gonna start off with my side that like appeals to me the most, which is Poet. Let's swatch her like right here. Oh, that's cute. That's actually really nice. You have to get go with, listen, swatches mean nothing. This is just for visual visuals. I don't know if you can see, but there's like a little bit of shimmer. It's like clearly matte, but it's like matte with shimmer in it. It's so interesting. I've never seen anything like that before. Oh, that's nice. That felt really good. Oh my God, that's so pretty. These swatch nice. The matte swatch was a little sus. I'm getting into it. I'm digging it. I really am. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's dope. Do y'all see that shit? Like, what the hell? Let's do, um, story next. Oh, that's a nice burnt orange. That's pretty. Here. Oh, that's watched way better than Poet. The Poet Matte. Oh my god, that looks so dope. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah, that's like insane. Whoa. It's interesting. Her pressed glitters feel a little bit more together i've i've done i've used so many different like glitters like press glitters but her press glitters feel like together do you know what i'm saying like they feel like they they're not chunky it doesn't feel chunky it doesn't feel like it's gloopy like they're not you don't see any streaks they're not streaky like what i'm getting is that like it just seemed like when i swatch it on my finger like it feels like i'm picking up a metallic shade you know what i'm saying not the glitter yeah, like they just swatch so like as if they were shimmer shades, like from a metallic palette. I'm ready to just dip into this palette and play. Like I am doing a look with Poet today. If you guys want me to use this palette more, let me know. I think I'll do some more Instagram videos with it, like Instagram tutorials with it. So follow me on Instagram. I'm, I've am i been posting more videos, like Instagram makeup tutorials on my IG story and my IG TV. So keep an eye out for that. So I'm going to get ready to do my eye makeup. And yeah, let's get right into it, Brenda. So I'm taking Poet. This dark shade right there um, with my Anastasia Anastasia A5 brush. Holy crap, that's a lot of pigment right off the... Oh, shit. By the way, for like eye primer, I just use concealer. Okay, we really do stand. Like, we're, we're standing. There's a standing today. I'm just gonna take my Delium Tool 776 brush and I'm just gonna buff out the edges of it. This is pretty. I mean, come on, are we like surprised? It's Tati, why would she release something stupid? I know we've like had our differences with other influencers releasing products that are trash, but like, should we really expect that from Tati? I don't think so. I'm just gonna dip my little toes into the matte shade from Aura um, to further kind of blend out the edges. There we go, that's better. I mean, this is freaking pretty, you guys. <gasps> I just had a big brain idea. Okay, this on the lower lash line, I freaking think so. Okay, let's do it. Have any of you actually gotten like glitter in your eye before? Comment down below. How was that experience for you? It's definitely an interesting color combination. Um, not one I would typically go for, but it's cool. Oh my God, that black is so pigmented. Oh my God. And when in doubt, just fucking plop some glitter on that bitch. Oh, hello? Holy shit, that looks amazing. Wow. 
you guys. Oh my God, okay. So I'm gonna do this eye off camera, pop some lashes on and give you guys my final thoughts, okay? All right, you guys, so this is the finished look. I just did um, ABH Sand and the new Carly Bible Summer Vibes gloss on top. And then for lashes, I did this brand called Sweetener Lashes, but I forgot which style. I'll list it down below if I remember. Altogether, my final thoughts on this palette is that, of course, I love it. I'm not surprised. I mean, like, if Tati Westbrook is going to release a product, it's going to be good. It's going to work well. It's going to be nice. So, well, honestly, I'm not surprised. I'm actually excited to play with this more. This become, like, my go-to for makeup for eyeshadow. I'm really excited to play with this some more. Um, I try to use as many shades in the palette as possible. I was at first just gonna do this row, um, but I try to use as many as possible, incorporate as many as possible. And I gotta say, all together, like this is probably the best black I've ever used in my life because it was just so pigmented and pretty easy to blend. All the shades together just look really nice. I I, I really like this palette, you guys. Um, it's definitely something I recommend. Uh, if you guys are in the market for a new neutral tone palette that's like perfect for every day or just perfect for, like you can create insane glam looks with this or you can create toned down looks with this. So I think that's really cool. I really feel like this row is the perfect pop of color. I think purple tones, red tones are really the perfect pop of color if you're just kind of scared to do a pop of color. Real quick before we go, I wanted to try to put this shade on my cheekbones. So I'm just gonna take a little bit. So if you are on the fair side, Aura, Metallic shade could be a really good highlighter for you. I obviously need to blend it out a little bit more, but yeah, I really do recommend this palette if you guys have the money. If you're in the market for a really good palette, definitely check this out. It's Tati, you know it's gonna be really good. Only thing I would say is that I had the tiniest bit of a hard time blending out this shade. It was just, I th to be honest, full disclosure, I did not set my eyes. It was more of on a tacky base, so that could be why but otherwise i really liked working with this palette honestly you guys i feel like this is probably one of the best influencer makeup launches in a minute just because you can tell that there was a lot of thought and love that went into this you can always tell when something's kind of just thrown together because it's for like a, a cash grab like so many influencers nowadays are making their own cosmetic lines because some of these brands won't pay us what we used to get paid. And then we start to realize that, oh, these brands are kind of low dogging us because we make them so much money, but we only see maybe not even a third of that, to be honest. Um, and nowadays influencers are making their own makeup brands because we want the profit. We want to make all the money. And you can tell when influencers are doing it for the money and when influencers like Tati Westbrook are doing it for the art and the passion behind it. Because you look at this palette and you see thought, time, and effort put into it. Um, when I see other influencer palettes, I see what can make you a quick buck and I'm not saying all influencer like brands and stuff like that but there are influencer brands out there where I just see like you're only making this because like we've all seen the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson series when because a, a launch can make someone 20 million dollars like you can tell when a, an influencer is doing it because it's just it's more of like an ego let's make money thing versus I'm super passionate about it and Tati Westbrook is really definitely someone, I mean, just having conversations with her privately, she is someone that definitely cares about her craft and what she does. And this palette definitely reflects that. Tati, if you ever get the pleasure of seeing her in person, the one thing she always has a beaut, like it, the one thing that's always beautiful on her is her base makeup, her complexion. And I'm just really excited to see her do some contours, like cream products. I'm really to see, I'm really excited to see where Tati Beauty goes with complexion and not just eyeshadow. Eyeshadow, quite honestly, is like the the cheapest, not the cheapest, but like the easiest thing to sell. You know, it's eyeshadow, but like, and it's the quickest thing to make. Eyeshadow is definitely the quickest thing to make. Well, lipstick is probably the quickest thing to make, but eyeshadow is like up there with some of the quickest things you can make. And I really hope she's dipping her toes in a foundation or a concealer of some sort because that is what I really want to see from Tati Beauty. But again, this is a really beautiful palette. I definitely recommend it. If you guys got your hands on it, 
let's do some looks together. I will probably definitely be doing more looks with this palette on my Instagram. So if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, you should be doing that already. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know I have been off of YouTube for so long, but I'm back and I'm here to work and get into it. Let's get on to it. All 2020. Um, we're gonna have a good rest of the year. Christmas and Halloween. I have one look for Halloween that I'm gonna have up this week. And then um, we're gonna get into the holiday videos. I do have a second channel. That second channel will have content on it very soon. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys so much and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye guys.